This episode is brought to you by InstantPodcastLeader.com, the leading platform to launch your podcast in 48 hours and make it profitable. Get your free audiobook and free web class at InstantPodcastLeader.com forward slash web class. Hi, I'm Janisha Alora, founder of Soul Rich Woman, the number one leading female entrepreneur network in Southeast Asia, supporting one million women to own and love the F word. Fabulous freedom, financial independence, and happy family. Alone, you are strong. Together, we are unstoppable. So go to soulrichwoman.com, grab your free five-day online program, Money and Me, how to get anything you desire. Welcome to my show. Hello, gorgeous, and thank you so much for listening to my podcast, Soul Why. I really appreciate it. Make sure you're following me on social media as well. I'm at Janisha Alora on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and LinkedIn at G E N E C I A A L L U O R A or find me at soulrichwoman.com and share with me your stories because I love hearing your aha moments about these episodes and it's going to be super fun. So stay connected. Hey gorgeous, welcome to today's episode. Today I want to share with you, even if you love your business, these are three things that will stop you from making money. Now today we are mixing love and money. It's frustrating when you've built a business based on your passions, put your heart and soul into your products and your services, and then to the sound of the crickets, and there is sound of the ants and the lizards. Now, maybe you've been limping along for months or years, not making much money, and you're considering giving up. Maybe you're getting pressure from other people in your life, for example, your parents, your family, or your friends, to quit your business and go back to your day job. But before you panic, there might be some practical reasons why this is happening. And we are going to get real on what's going on and how you can fix it. You can have a business you love and make money. First, you repeat this after me. I serve, I deserve. I serve, I deserve. I serve, I deserve. I deserve to be rich when I add value to people's lives. Now, this belief that that you can't mix love and money together, passion or money together, is such a common thing. I see it all the time. Entrepreneurs who have found something they love to do, but who can't just seem to make any money out of it. When business doesn't work, we tend to make up stories about why this is happening. Usually the old story that we're not good enough, we got no followers, we got no viewers. You know, we start from zero. I'm not a celebrity. We are not allowed to live to our passions. Oh, I am not so-and-so. I don't have the status. I don't have the money. You have every possible excuse to stop yourself and let yourself justify why business don't work. Trust me, most of the stories are crap. It's bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. And you need to deal with the blocks that are behind so you can move on and start making money from something you love. So let's get real and honest before you lump everything all together and then get overwhelmed and go down the rabbit hole. So three things to check in if you are not making profit from your passion. Number one, is this idea valid for you? What do it what do I mean exactly? I mean, is this a business that sells something that people will actually pay you for? Is this something that you even want to do? This can be a really hard one to admit that you are wrong and then start from zero all over again. That I totally get it. Rather than know it earlier that you've made a mistake and end the pain earlier and restart the journey rather than let it run till it dry and then when you restart, you probably can't do it anymore. So a good business is an intersection between three things. What you do, what you love to do 
what you're good at, and what people will pay you for. You really need all these three if you want not only a profitable business, but something that has longevity for you, something for the long term, something here to stay. Now, it's really tempting to make a business out of something that you're really good at, even though you don't quite love it. For example, I used to do a lot of private coaching sessions, even though I'm much better teaching in group situations. When I admitted to myself that I didn't really like it anymore, it freed up my time and energy to create my Soul Rich Woman Bootcamp. Just because something is a good business idea, it doesn't mean that you have to be the one to bring it into the world. So do a check on your business right now. Is it something that you love and that you're good at and people will pay you for? If yes, yay, you are on the right track. No? Hmm. It's time to go back to the drawing board to see if you can tweak the business. Otherwise, give yourself the permission to let it go. I know it's going to be very difficult, very hard to take an objective look at the baby that you've built. Yes. A lot of my customers, my clients tell me, oh, this is my baby. This is my baby. I cannot let it go. But if you look at it objectively, that the business that you've set up and realize that it's not going to cut it, it's important to take the step forward if you want to make more money with less effort. Number two, not everything has to be a business. If you really enjoy your hobby, it can be tempting to turn it into a business. I mean, not every chef can start a restaurant. Not everybody who is a photographer can run a photography business. Not anybody who owns a, um, you know, a blog can become a blogger and eventually monetize it, right? So it's literally passion means passion. Business is business. Sometimes it's just two different entities. And I've done it before. So... When you are doing a hobby or turning your hobby into a business, it might be fun for a while, okay, but it might not be something that you might get paid to do. And after all, if you turn it into a business, you have to find a new hobby. It's totally safe for you to have some downtime to do things that are just for fun. You don't have to monetize every single thing. Even though that's how we work as entrepreneurs. Like for example, when I'm doing TikTok live stream or I'm running TikTok shop, not every live stream is all about making money. It's also sometimes just chill. You just need to be relaxed. You just need to get to know your audience. And, you know, we need to have different facets to build a good platform for you and your audience to communicate. So we, if you're always thinking about money-making ideas, it can be very distracting for you if you don't follow through. So knowing that you don't have to monetize everything, even though that's how we work, you know, this is one advice for you. Do something that fits a good business model that I've spoke before. You still get to enjoy a hobby. You still need to find something you love while building a business you love. At the end of the day, if hobby doesn't really become a business, so be it. If you turn your hobby into a business, then find a new hobby, right? There are always ways to balance it out. You just need to work on it. Number three, you will have to learn to love marketing. Mm -hmm. Yes, love, L-O-V-E, truth. This is truth. All right, gorgeous. This is really truth. Every business needs marketing. And yes, you can manifest new clients. You want more people to come and watch your live stream, more people to buy from you. But the universe needs you to meet it halfway. There's no such thing uh, as, you know, you're sitting there and the money fall from the sky or fall from a tree, right? You can't wait on your bed under your blanket and the money will drop from the sky. It doesn't happen that way. So getting good at marketing is really important because marketing is manifesting too. Good at marketing is simply a skill that is essential for all entrepreneurs. If you are not good at marketing your business, then your business will reach an inevitable plateau. It's totally normal to feel very sien or very e, you know, or very weird because you're talking about marketing and you're like, oh my God, I must market myself. And you feel very salesy sometimes talking about yourself or the things that you're selling. And you feel like you're trying to hard sell people or you're trying to, uh, you know, sell to others and you feel so salesy about it or feels like a sleaze bag. 
You feel like you're so sleazy or even dirty to brag about ourselves. Uh, hello? That's a money block. Listen one more time. A money block. Yes. It is a money block. When you feel negative about even marketing and you feel you're salesy, you feel that you are dirty, you are sleazy, it is a money block. You really must be doing some regular marketing activities in order to bring in the clients. Otherwise, you're just hiding your talents away from the world. It is totally safe for you to market your business and yourself. Money needs marketing and mindset. And it's totally possible to deal with those blocks and learn what you need to learn to take your business from where you are now to where you want to be much, much faster. So either way, you need to learn about marketing fast or delegate it. Either way, you can totally figure it out. So soul rich woman, that's where the money is. You are allowed to love your business and make money out of it. You are, you have the permission to be who you are living in your true brilliance and make money out of it. You want to upgrade your mindset and marketing? Not sure where to start? Grab a copy of my free online course, How to Get Anything That You Want, all right, and go to Soul Rich Woman. Go there and go grab your free copy of the online program right now. And when you want my support, come and join us in our Soul Rich Woman Bootcamp. Now, this is a type of stuff that we work on every day in our community. Here's to getting through your blocks and building a business you love. This is your time and you are ready for the next step. Sending you my love and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Hey gorgeous, I can help you to build your dreams. Now you can work with me in my Money Mindset Coaching Program and Mastermind Community Soul Rich Woman. The more you surround yourself with inspiring, successful and supportive people, the more you'll feel safe to dream. Let's clear all the old stories, beliefs and sabotages that are stopping you, holding you back and making you go round and round in circles and not allowing you to create your soul-rich life. Fabulous, freedom, financial independence and a happy family. It's fun and practical. That is S-O-U-L-R-I-C-H W-O-M-A-N dot com or simply email us at hello at com. So, come and join us.